All right, man, so everybody always talk about why you should join the army. I think it's only fair enough why people should understand why the army is for everybody. You know that feeling when you get, when somebody tell you to do something and you already planned on doing it anyway, so now you don't want to do it anymore? That's the army in a nutshell. What do you mean? Sweet and simple. What do you mean, Pope? I mean, it's easy, but it's full of BS at the same time. I mean, but people not gonna understand what that means, bro. I know, you gotta be in to understand. Nah, but you gotta explain, cause some people are on the fence on why they should or should not join. You know, sometimes it's good for some people. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Even if some people it's good just to do a couple years and get out. You feel me? Yeah. So you gotta like... Yeah, if you wanna like get out your current situation, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, of course, 100%. But what what don't you like, here we go, what don't you like about the army? You don't want, I can't say that. Okay, what don't you like about the army that you can't say? You don't want me, to, I can't say that either. So how does COVID affect, how has COVID affected work? Being an army bomb owner. Has it affected work? How? Explain. We're still working. What do you mean has it affected work? I mean, do we work full days though? Like, we don't work full days. Who? You guys don't even work. Bullshit. Guys, Signal does not work like that. Bull crap. So, sorry, Chris. <clears throat> yeah. How does, uh, how has COVID affected your life? How has this quarantine affected? It hasn't really affected it. At all? No. I still work 24-7. I go home and I crochet and read books. Like, that's my life. So <laughs> Living <Yo>. my life. <laughs> right. How old are you again? Young enough. <laughs> She's 24, guys. 24. Yeah, going on 38. And crochets. Crochets. I do crochets. Do you have a, hold on. This is it. Do you have a rocking chair? No, not yet. Not yet. I am not yet. Yeah, I'm Amazon. Amazon. I am uh, trying to look for one. So look if anyone has one, please hit me up. Wow. And watch <laughs> you get like 45 pies. I'm selling one right now. Hey, stand up real quick. No. Why? I don't want to see no. all six one. All six one of this. Can someone come get him, please? <laughs> so, how has the quarantine affected your life? It hasn't. Well, so, no, scratch that. Fucking Comic Con got moved. Oh, that's true that's for you. Bullshit. Oh, yeah. yeah. See, I, I, I'm going. See? Yeah, he is. It's, just, it's gonna be fun. It's gonna be a blast. Oh, it's gonna be wild. He's I would so crazy. record that shit. He's not gonna know how to react to it <laughs> at all. I'm gonna record the hell out of that. How has the quarantine affected you and your life? My personal life? Not the slightest. How about your army life? Army life? I mean, it's added some extra hurdles, but. What extra hurdles? Well, like now we gotta sanitize our hands every time we enter a building. And Is there something wrong with washing your hands every time you enter a building, Michael Kersey? Michael J. Kersey? It's a little inconvenient, you know, because I understand. Lots of lotions being used. Hey, Sergeant King. Sergeant First Class King, I got a question for you. I'm doing a little vlog and I have a question. What's up? How has quarantine and COVID 19 affected you in your life as an Army soldier? How has it affected you? That's deep, man. Uh, the biggest thing is, I would have to say, is his family members, right? Um, mm -hmm. Taking leave, being stuck in Germany, not being able to see your loved ones. Uh, my wife is back in the States. She can't come to Germany. Um, so that's the biggest one for me, as well as basketball. Can't get it in. You know, can't work out like you want to. The gym, like Sean Wilson over there, he loves the gym, so we can't can't get to the gym. Uh, I ain't gonna show Sean Wilson. But say hey, Sean Wilson. Sean so Wilson, hey, man. Say hey! I'm not gonna video you, I'm not gonna record you. <laughs> but yeah, that's, that's the biggest impact, is uh, just seeing my wife. So. Okay, okay. Yeah. I'm just trying to get perspectives from different people and all that. All right, so I appreciate it. Lieutenant Winterveen, how are you today? I'm doing fine, how are you doing, sir? Pretty good, pretty good. So my question today is, how has COVID-19 and the quarantine affected your life, both Army and civilian? Okay, so for me personally, um, I haven't honestly seen all that many changes to my daily lifestyle, both at work and at home. Okay. Um, obviously, we can't really go anywhere, so I'm not going out on to anywhere cool on the four days and whatnot. And on the weekends, I'm generally just Bored. staying indoors, Bored. You know, playing games with friends, whatnot. Um, what games do you like to play? Oh, I usually go with 
a lot of multiplayer is recently some Overwatch and Warzone. Safe. There you go. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. That Warzone. <laughs> Everybody likes the Warzone right can now. I, can I ask you a question? Can you turn that, that cup a little in your hand? Yeah. What you want? Dunkin' Donuts. Uh, oh, yes. Dunkin' Donuts. Make I sure you stop by. I am a coffee addict, but uh, yeah, I still come to work every day. Mm -hmm. So for me, it's pretty much business as usual. Okay. It's mostly the minor inconveniences of, hey, when you go to the commissary, you have to put on the mask and mm. stand apart. So, Mrs. Brandy, Brandilyn, hi. hi. How are you? Good. That's good. Follow her at? Salute Brandy on Instagram. Okay. And YouTube? I don't even know my YouTube channel. Right? Well, dot, dot, dot. So how has <laughs> quarantine, oh, how has quarantine and this COVID-19 affected your life here in Germany as a spouse? Um, it's super boring. Okay. We can't get anything done. Um, that's, that's really it. I can't go out to eat in three, six weeks pregnant. She's pregnant, y'all. She's pregnant. Go to the side. Go to the side. There you go. See, you know, my snapback gonna be for real. Um, no, it's just, it's really boring. There's nothing to do. Um, gotta deal with him all day in the house. All day? Talk about the dog. Yeah, can't. Oh. He's like prepared. Oh. Yeah, hi. Mm -hmm. How hi. are you? Hi, good. How are you? Pretty good. What's your name? Loretta. Hey, Loretta. Hi. So I'm doing a video. Okay. Oh, let's get the street. So I'm trying to figure out. You guys are in it. Is that okay? Okay. okay. We're trying to figure out. My hype girls. Hi. Hey, hype girls. <laughs> yeah. Hey, turn up. <laughs> so, you know, with quarantine and COVID-19 affecting everybody, you know, how does it affect you guys being out here in Germany? And then y'all from here, right? Yeah. Y'all uh, from Germany? Wait, Are y'all from Germany? No, we're not from Germany. Right. No, we're so, all from the States, but we've been here long enough to, I guess it's so, we're so used to it now, right? It's yeah. like- It's only been two months. Like you I'm, guys are already used to it. I'm used to it now. Okay. Although I guess I would say it hasn't really affected me because I still do what I want. <laughs> but don't tell anyone else. <laughs> but we, we follow the rules. Okay, you know, okay. Social distancing, we're yeah. still good, but yeah. Y'all kind of like close yeah. to six yeah, feet. Yeah, we're- Oh my gosh, it's like three close. inches, you know? <laughs> no, it's all good. But no, but we're allowed now to walk mm -hmm. right now, so it's getting better. But okay, so what's, what what do you miss the most? Shopping. Oh, okay. Yes, easily. You're not an online shopper. Yeah. No, I am, but I'm an instant gratification type. Person, ah, okay, so I okay. Wanna, like go. Miss K Town, went to the mall. Yeah, I okay. Just miss, like going. Okay. Right. You guys? So. Yeah, absolutely. So what's the first thing you're gonna? What's the first thing you're gonna do once quarantine's over? Besides shopping. Besides shopping. Yes. Go to the gym. Right? Everyone agrees to that. We're I definitely agree. We're all going to go to the gym, yes. yeah, because we all used to go to fitness classes. And, and now all the games, them games are gone. Yeah. You guys can always run. Just yeah. run, run, well, run. Well, that's why we're walking. So ah, exactly. okay. You caught us in the midst of I'm so fitness, sorry. So I'm, I'm ruining go. the fitness. <laughs> well, thank you guys for a couple minutes. Yeah. Thank you. See ya. You guys have a great one. You too. All right, so the question is, how has COVID and the quarantine affected y'all life? I imagine y'all put on the mask when I turn the video on. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because, you know, Social distancing, you know what I'm saying? People doing all that crazy. But you know how it affected me and mine? <laughs> I couldn't get no cheeks. I couldn't bring no Damn, cheeks. Damn, we just missed the ice cream, man. Shit. Antonio don't like us like that. No yes, more. he does. He, he don't know where we be at. Yeah. We still like that. We do. We up here now. Okay, well, as far as me, we I just can't travel. And I'm, I'm itching to get the fuck on. I'm trying to travel into some cheeks. <laughs> but the coronavirus won't let me do so. You know? Say less. I'm pissed off. Question, man. How has um, COVID-19 and quarantine... You know, this actually might be good for your channel, too. How has COVID-19 and quarantine affected your life? This is a serious question? Serious. Like, this... Yeah. Like, like a serious question? Like, dead serious. I've been asking many people. Okay, well... Number one, I find out my wife's better to Call of Duty. <laughs> How has that been? That shit hurts. Uno, Uno's, Uno's been rough at the crib, man. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah, Wait, pause. Yeah, Let them know. Tell them the new Uno rules that we even discovered. Yeah, man. So, if you got a plus four, you got that color in your deck, somebody could call your bluff, man. And you can't do a two plus fours. It was, it was, it's been rough at the crib, man. His wife's wrong for that, man. <laughs> All right, what's good? I'm here with Atkinson, aka Q, aka my cousin. You know what I'm saying? Oh, my God. They look alike. Oh, they do. They do. All right, real question, though. How has COVID-19 and this quarantine affected your life both in the Army 
Can we edit that out? <laughs> my bad. In the army, and it's still messed up too. In the army and in your personal life. Um, so COVID, obviously you can't go different places, especially being in Europe. Europe mm -hmm. is a big tourist site, so you can't travel like you want to, which is a... Where do you want to travel to? Spain. What part of Greece? Spain? I don't know. You know, you can't ask me in-depth questions. Just oh. give me this country. Just give me the country, bro. Wait a minute. Just give me the country. Right. I'm going to give you the country. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Right. Barcelona. Barcelona is a good place okay, to go. Barcelona. And you said where else? Uh, Greece. Greece. I've been to Athens. It's a lot of sex in Athens. How about Santorini? I haven't been there because it was off season, but I heard it's beautiful. But I heard it's a little... Costly? Nah, not too costly, but you know, you're, you're going to pay a little something. Oh, you, it's beautiful. Yeah, they make it look good. So. Uh, Military-wise, uh, with the... Restrictions, uh, honestly, it's not too bad. I, as, as far as, you know, the safety that people need to have, uh, cleanliness that people need to have, which they should have been having yeah. you know, their whole life. But it is kind of, it is kind of aggravating where it every place, be. like it if you go to commissary, like I went from commissary straight to the PX, to the post office, and within six minutes, I had to wash my hands three, four times. Now, you know, I'm not going to say anything crazy, but with this type of skin, you can't just keep washing your hands nonstop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you know what I'm saying? Get a little that. dry, you know, a little crack. Y'all seen a little crack in the, little crack on the skin. But it's different for the Army. Usually, the Army's reactive, but, you know, now they're being proactive. proactive. So, yeah. it's different for the Army. Hey, but, twins. Okay. You know. So, finally, anyway, thank you guys for checking out the video. You know what I'm saying? Um, please, once more, if you haven't already, hit the subscribe button. We have a way it is. I don't, I don't even much know. And um, that's it for this week. Next week, I want to hit um, how the Army affects relationships. You know, both negative, positive, all types of things. So tune in next week. Get at me, all right?